everybody this is Andrea here and we are off to our inside cover page for our new mini album this is the 8x8 we were working with and Julie Nutting is the paper pack we're using French flea market and I need to pick a paper for the front cover so and I was looking at all of these wondering which one I want for the front cover sometimes it's easier just to pull them out and check them out now if I was doing like a sewing one I would definitely pick this one this is pretty it's blue that kind of goes with everything. So does this pink. Oh, and then these two are gorgeous. And we have that one. This green is really pretty. I like the flower here. If I were to go with this flower or even this blue here, I can use all of those uh, stickers and cutouts and they would go on here really nicely without it being too much. I don't think I'm going to do the bingo cards uh, as a front cover. Now this would be nice too. Maybe this should be our front cover because again we could go with those stickers or do I want a floral front cover I think I'm gonna go with the floral front cover and that has a bingo card on the back so I won't be losing too much on that I could go with this one. Oh man, isn't this beautiful? Push this out the way. This is gorgeous. Hmm. Maybe this is the way to go. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. It says, hello gorgeous on the front. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. So the inside cover is going to be the stripe here, I think. Let me see. It's stripe, but it also has writing in here. And it's got these tags on the back. But this is the stripe with the writing. That's going to be the inside here. Okay. Now that we've got our paper out of the way for the front cover, because I don't want to accidentally use it, put that away here, here. Now, what you're going to need for the inside cover here are this is seven and three quarters by three inches. You're going to score it at a half an inch. No more, I'm sitting so far back. Sorry about that. So seven and three quarters by three inches. You only need one of those. It's going to go on to the left hand side. Then you're going to need five waterfall flips. And these are four and a half by five and a quarter. You're going to need five of those. Then you're going to need a closure for our waterfall. And that's going to be this magnetic flip here. And that's six and a quarter by two. You only need one of those. You can do two if you want. You know, have one from the top and the bottom. I'm just going to do one. All right, let's pick paper. We do have this one for our inside here. And I want to put the whole sheet down. Um... for this particular 
page. Okay, so here. Leaving an eighth of an inch on each side here. Now that you got your paper for your base, that looks good. This is the paper for our base. Now we can pick paper. We're going to pick, now we have five flips, which means we have to have ten pieces of paper to go on to this. And then we have one left flip, and you'll need two pieces of paper for that one, and then two pieces of paper for your closure. Let's go with something out of our backup book. This is the filler paper. And this is that Heart of Home by Jane or Jen Hadfield. Hadfield. Let's see, we have that pretty blue. So we're going to leave it up here so we can see what kind of goes with it. This is pretty. Hmm. I really do like that. And I know there's a second sheet in here. It's just in the back. find it. There you are. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay. That should give us our five for the inside. Got to pull out the first sheet. There we go. Okay, so we have that. These are gonna make five. We should get, should be able to get four out of each sheet. Let me see. Oh yeah, we definitely can get four out of each sheet. I'll only need one and a quarter there. So that's for five on the inside. Now let's find something that will give us five for the outside. Don't get that many sheets here, so you got to be real careful on your Julie netting um, paper. Uh -oh. I get ready to talk, so I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. So let's get our papers tonight. I think I'm going to try this one. Let me get the other ones on here first. So we have that. We have that. And let's place this down and get whoa, whoa. this inked up.
the ink I'm using, which is the one I always use, you'll see it in every video, it's um, Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Ink Black Soot. See, do I want the stripes to go this way or this way? them to go. I'm going to use this ATG gun. I think I'm going to stick with that way. You know what, before I do that, I want to go ahead and put on a little bit of glue, wet glue, because this is going to be holding the flips, so I want this to be as strong as possible. You don't have to be perfect with this, just get, get some on there to keep it holding down. Okay. So we're going to the right on our... So our stripes are going this way. Like that. Okay. Now I can put my flips down. My flips are going to go to the right hand side. This small flip is going to go to the left. Before I do that, I want to go ahead and cut my corners here. Not cut them, but um, make them a scallop edge. Yeah, let's do scallop edge. We're going to do our small flip that way. And then each of our waterfall flips. And if you're doing this, that means you, the paper that you cut is going to also have to be um, punched with your crocodile. got everything with the scallop edge. Now I want to put, I'm going to put these down first. We have a little bit of a gap there. Maybe I'll put this one down first and then we'll put our flips down. Oh. 
and I would like to put a strip of writing paper to fit in here because um, they can use this as a journaling spot. We're going to do the inside as a um, journaling spot and then a small strip here. So, this book is called The Maps, Text, and Ledger Stack by DCWV. And I grab out just sheets for ledger, uh, ledgering, um, old newspapers, stamps, stuff. They have typed lettering. It's it's nice to have for um for fill-ins, but especially for the um, writing spaces. As soon as I get to it, which is right up front. All right, this one would be a good color. Yeah. What a color. Oh no, that might be too close. This would be nice. You know what? Let's use this one. <clears throat> we'll use this on another project. So grab yourself something like this for when you want um, writing paper or some old notebooks from the Dollar Tree. Those work too. to cut two of these so I'm just going to fold it and cut two that way See how we did. Okay. Looks good. And we'll have a piece for over here. I want it to go up. Just ink those up. for listing names, birthdays, events. Okay, so those two are going to go there. Then you open and close like that. Perfect, and then we'll put our regular paper on top. Okay, we'll leave that open. We'll use it as a guide as to not put 
our flips over that far. All right. I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and get our flips in. We're going to use um, double sided sticky tape. Had to give my puppy a quick haircut. He was looking like a little mop. Oh no. I went on ahead and scalloped all of my corners for our paper. I did want to say if you didn't want the um, band closure this piece here it's going to go like that if you didn't want that you could put magnets on each one of your flips so down real good. We'll put this one on top. Add a little bit of glue. sideways. Make sure you stay away from your score line here. Your, um, you don't want your flip to become impeded. Next one, I only did five flips. You can do, I think, up to eight flips on this length. up against this other one. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Just like so. And here there will be this black line in between and you could take a piece of washi tape or cut some more paper and cover that if you want. I usually leave mine plain, but it's, again, it's up to you. Clean out my glue real quick. Okay. 
next one. Try that again. It was, it is crooked. I'm going to pull it out anyway. Some more glue on here. Let's get it on there straight this time. better. Okay, move on to the next one. Yeah, you could probably get another five on here. I'm not going to put that many, that's just too heavy, because um, remember they're going to put photos on here too. So. What I may do, we'll see, I may put four corners to um, put a photo in there. It's, uh, I'll be right okay. back. Okay, sorry about the interruptions. We've got our flips done. Now I'm going to turn it and put in our closure. Closure and the magnet is going to go in here somewhere. Or do I want um, do I want a magnet? Yeah, I'm going to use a magnet. So let's go ahead and put this down. Gonna go there. Let's go ahead and get the magnet. We're gonna use a strong one. All of them are strong. I just want to use a stronger than normal. 
and a little bigger. Then place it down. Lift it up. Here we go. All right. So that's going to hold that down. Now I want to place something here that's going to hold this down. I'm not sure what I want to do there. I'm go with a magnet again. Let's go with a magnet. Now I have paper that's going to go here and here. So we can put a magnet underneath there. <coughs> this one's going to go here. And this one's going to go here, like so. Then I have right there and here. Let's get our, our almost used up tape for this one. Put this one down. Take the tape backing off. Is that perfect? 
perfect. That closes that. So we have closures put together there. I have a piece for here. It's going to be this one. And then I have one to go right underneath. <coughs> Excuse me. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll remove the tape backing from this one. Our small little journaling flip. And we're going to put this on this side, or you can use this side, but I didn't really cut it so that it would look like I want it to, so I'm not going to use that side. nice you can journal here about any of the photos you put here so that turned out really cute let's go ahead and start the bottom here we're going to be using our little bird in her nest there we go
coming off. I want to put a nest up or keep it like that. I think I'm going to keep it like that. And we'll do the nest this way, like that. Make sure that you, if you're using the same paper pad, make sure that your birds are not facing the wrong direction. Keep it going. I'm going to finish these up and pull out those corners I was telling you about, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty. I had to clear out my throat. So here are those bronze corners I was talking about. I got these off of eBay a long time ago, and I just typed in bronze corners. Excuse me. And, uh... To bronze corner embellishments to find them and I think something like that would look really cute yeah I like that then they could put a photo in here that'd be nice so it's kind of bent so let's use this one I'm going to um, just do the corners, the sides, and this dries really clear so I don't have to worry about it looking funny or anything. And they'll be able to slide the picture right underneath this portion here.
This is going to be cute. I can picture the photo in there now. So. That looks good. I love it. I love how this page turned out. And you can see the two corners here at the bottom. That's really cute. Let's put clean off our nozzle and put our pen back in. And that's it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this page. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or, or, that, or, or such. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget. Take care. Bye.